In this video, I'll be showing you how you can create documentations or step-by-step -step guides in seconds using just a simple browser plugin. If you're like me, you know exactly how frustrating and tedious it can be to create documentations for your designs. There is nothing more boring than sitting down in front of your computer and just write a step-by-step -step guide documentation for your newly created design components. Now, if you don't work in large organizations and don't need to document your design work, you might think that you don't need to like this but you will be amazed how much time you can actually save on your freelance projects when you have to explain to your client on how to use certain tools or how to upload for example CMS items in Webflow and instead of writing back and forth 100 times you can just send them a link with a step-by-step -step guide that they can just follow along so the tool is called scribe and it's a simple browser extension that records your screen while you're doing a certain task and creates a step-by-step -step documentation that you can then share with your client or organization organization. So to get started, you first need to create an account. Personally, I recommend using the Google sign-in as that will speed up the process quite a bit. Then you need to install their plugin and that's it. You're ready to go from this point on. So once you have the app slash extension installed, just open your app. In my example, I would like to document how to create a simple button in Figma. So the first step will be to select the text tool, click anywhere on the canvas, type something like, for example, button. Now I'm gonna use a fancy shortcut to create a frame around my text command option G, add some padding, round up the corners, add the fill, and pretty much that's it. Now I can stop the recording, and once I do this, Scribe will automatically start generating my step-by-step -step guide slash documentation. So once it's ready, I can add a description, for example, if I want to. I can amend the steps if for some reason they don't make any sense, or I can even download the captured images. And when I'm done tinkering with it, I can simply share it either as a link via email or I can just copy the actual link or download it as a PDF, for example, if I want to. You also have this embedded option, but I'm not sure how often you'll be using this one. But I presume that if you have your own blog or website, this might come in handy. What I would like to add here is that the user experience for the embedded option is quite nice and it's very user friendly. The only drawback that I see for now is that this currently works only on browsers. So you won't be able to use this on applications like Sketch or Photoshop, for example. But I think that if this app starts getting some traction, they will be for sure incentivized to create the desktop app as well that you can then use to record other applications that are not web-based. The thing is that as of now, this tool is completely free. I mean, yes, you do have to upgrade to use certain features and have some more customization options, but to be fair, if you're a designer, you won't be needing this because you can customize this in Figma anyway. Let me show you quickly how you can do that. So what I did is I created these components in Figma that replicate basically how Scribe generates the steps. So all I need to do now is to simply copy the text and images that were generated in Scribe and just put them in Figma. And then I can customize these steps how I want. I can change the color, I can change the padding, you know, all that cool stuff that we as designers love and obsess to do. The nice thing about this is that you can actually leave the documentation inside Figma next to your components so that anyone who will be using your designs can easily find the documentation in case they don't understand how your components were structured or they don't know how to use them properly. That's it. This is all I wanted to share with you today and to encourage you to start using Scribe or similar tools to speed up your documentation process. And as always, thank you for being here with me today. Always a pleasure to have you around. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit that like button, smash that subscribe button if you haven't already, and I'm gonna see you in the next video. So until then, happy designing and see you soon. Bye. So the tool, tool is tool or tool? Tool, 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 tool. tool. So the tool is called scrapped. So the tool is, <laughs> I cannot. Tool. Oh my god, uh, today it's gonna be full of bloopers. <laughs>